What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We are out in a very special place, which is drive tanks. You can tell by the, by the tank. Today we're doing a video that I wanted to do for a long time, but now I finally have the tools and the hardware to do it. German machine guns of World War II, which is why I'm holding an MP40. I figure this probably isn't a bad place to start. You've probably seen this in a lot of movies and potentially some history books with some not so nice things happening. We're gonna be shooting some cool shit today, so uh, let's get started. Like I said, first up, the MP40 9mm submachine gun. Let's rock and roll. Open bolt. <laughs> it is so easy to control. Just it's, it's a sewing machine, just that nice, slow, cyclic rate. Very, very enjoyable to shoot. Goodbye, my Schmetterling. But real quick, today's sponsor is Sonoran Desert Institute. I get a lot of guys who ask me, Brandon, how do I get started in the firearms industry? Well, SDI might be a good place to start. It's great for somebody who's had an interest in firearm technology like gunsmithing, firearm repair, shooting sports management, pretty much anything in the gun industry. If that sounds like you, you might want to check them out. They have lots of online classes to make it super easy for you. So if you want to learn more, head on over to sdi.edu for more info. Thanks again to SDI, back to the video. All right, so the MP40 is a very cool, very well-known submachine gun. This is great, but I like this. So what they did, they moved on kind of as war was developing, you know, more small arms were coming about. This was, in my opinion, probably, I guess the pinnacle of Hugo Schmeiser's work, which was the STG 44. This was basically the grandfather of all modern assault rifles, quote unquote. So as you can see, it, it shares a lot of features with modern assault rifles as far as a intermediate cartridge, pistol grip, select fire machine gun. Uh, basically, this is your first modern infantry rifle. So it's really neat, it's really cool. I've never got to shoot one of these before, so I'm kind of geeking out a little bit. So you got your falling block bolt here. You can see how that unlocks as the bolt carriers push back, kind of like the AK, but we'll get to that. This is not an AK, damn it. I will, I will, I could do an entire video about that. I won't do it right now, but if you guys want to see it, I will do one. But like the AK, you've got your gas block here, long stroke gas piston, pushes it back, grabs that, disengages the lock there in the back, reciprocates, resets the hammer, picks up another round, drops it, and then you're ready to keep going until this thing stops. This is exactly what I intend to do right now. This is gonna be like a religious experience for me. This is my first time shooting one, so I'll try to be gentle. It's a machine gun. Come on, baby, for the fatherland. The fatherland is very disappointed in her. There she goes. Good girl. Obviously the STG-44 is a very, very cool weapon. It's a cool part of history, just like the MP-40. But sometimes when you care to send the very best, you need a little bit more balls. Or a drum. We're now gonna transition to, personally, what I think is going to be my favorite part, which is the German light machine gun. Starting with, of course, the MG-15. So the MG-15 is like the grandpappy of the famous German light machine guns of World War II, like the MG-34 and the MG-42. So we have an open bolt light machine gun chambered in 8mm Mauser that I am now going to attempt to load. There we go. Because I have never played with this weapon system before. Cool. Just rocks and locks in. That sounds familiar. And up, push that forward, lock it in. I think we're good to go. Going hot. Holy shit, that thing fires fast. 
Well, unless it doesn't fire. Apparently the MG15 doesn't like uh, to play games. Uh, I think they call that gas lighting in 2020. Uh, so no go. <sighs> Just gotta send it. Three, two, one. Oh, fuck. That's rad. Oh, and those casings are hot as shit. Three, two, one. Ah, yep, there's another burn. That is nifty when it works. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty rad, but uh, next we're moving along to the MG34. Now, this one right here, we can't shoot today because this is, while it is a real MG34 parts kit, it was built on a dummy receiver, so this one, probably not a good idea. If it could shoot, probably wouldn't want to. But uh, not, to, not to despair. We have one more, exactly one more, but it's kind of a big one. You guys probably know what it is. Uh, gun drummer, can I get a drum roll, please? The MG42, Hitler's buzzsaw, and in my humble, relatively uninformed opinion, the king of machine guns in World War II. I cannot fucking wait to shoot this. So one of the cool features that the MG42 has over some of its predecessors is uh, if you're laying down a lot of hatred at one time, your barrel gets pretty damn hot. So what you're gonna wanna do, swap the barrel, comes right out the side. Let me see if I can do this right. Put it back in, there you go. A little groove there. And there we go, slam it shut. Ideally, you don't put the same hot barrel back in. You take the hot one out and you put a new fresh barrel in. This one's not hot, so we just, we, we, we put the cold barrel back in because it's, it's not hot. So this is a belt fit, so in order to load it, you have to pop the top here, grab your belt. Those are up. And there we go, advance that. That sounded nice and positive. Here we go. All righty, let's give her a shot. Three, two, one, let's fuck. Wow, that was so sick. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eins, zwei, drei. That one kind of went all over. Well, that was good for blood flow to the crotch. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, if you want to see more individual stuff, we might come back out here do a little bit more of a deep dive in some of this shit. But honestly, guys, I'm in heaven. I'm gonna have a little bit more fun with these guys. Thanks again to the crew over at Drive Tanks for all of this. This is fantastic. Oh yeah, and of course, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fuck, this is cool. Also probably shouldn't put my thumb right over the gas vent. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> it's a machine gun. Oh, An old machine gun. All right, hopefully you have a little bit of luck out of the second mag. Well, that's not a great start.